The beginning of a new year is a great time to reevaluate finances and make a plan to save more. Consumer savings expert Lauren Grootman is a best-selling author of The Recovering Spender, How to Live a Happy, Fulfilled, Debt-Free Life, and joins us with her tips. Welcome, Lauren. Thank you so much for having me. I'm glad to be here. Yeah, we're happy to have you on. And Lauren, you have to share your secret to success with us. What is it? Well, you know, I was once in over $40,000 worth of debt, so I've been there, done that, and got myself out. And for me, um, you know, one of my biggest tips is that I had to realign my spending with my value system. That was hugely important. I had to learn, you know, how to meal plan and how to stick to a budget and create a budget that was actually specific for me and my situation and so that I could actually stick to it. And I think that is super important. So once I got out of debt, became a financial coach, and now um, my full-time career and life mission is to help other people get out of debt. So that's what I'm here to do uh, and help you with today. Okay, perfect. So where, how do we get started? Well, the first thing you want to do is you want to start saving. You know, it's really important to save for life's big and small moments. And PayPal has introduced PayPal savings provided by Synchrony Bank. And this is a new way for their customers to access a current competitive rate of 0.4% APY while encouraging the development of healthy savings habits. You know, of course, the rate is subject to change at any time, including after the account is open. So according to the FDIC, this is actually six times higher than what the average savings account currently offers. It's rolling out now so people can check out uh, paypal.com slash savings for more information. Ooh, that's good to know. And what if debt has become unmanageable? You're seeing it, the number keeps growing. What should you do? Yeah, you know, I've been there. And so um, I know the feeling of that debt, you know, that crushing debt. And you know, I think people need to stop beating themselves up about it. You know, debt happens. And when it does happen, I always send them to the pros over at debt.com because they can really help you find solutions to get out of debt and fix your credit and get you on the path to achieving financial goals. So they can assess your situation and then introduce you to the perfect debt solution. And this month, they're actually offering a free ultimate debt relief guide that you can go right to their website, download for free. So your viewers can go over there right now and take advantage of this. Check it out, download the free guide and get on their way to paying down that debt. And do you have any digital tools that might help? Yeah, so I always recommend that people go through their you know, monthly bills um, once a year and figure out where they're overpaying. A lot of people are overpaying on their auto insurance. And so Experian has cracked the code on shopping for better, less expensive auto insurance. So their tool helps you easily compare quotes based on your actual coverage and it's tailored just to you. So it'll give you an answer in just minutes. So on average, people are seeing more than $900 a year in savings by using this tool from Experian. So they can go and check that out as well. And are there other ways to save and keep on a budget? Yeah, you know, I talk about this. Um, I have a podcast called The Hard Money Talk Show. And in that show, we talk about, you know, some kind of hard money and difficult uh, topics, you know, like overspending, like my book, The Recovering Spender. Um, we talk about mental health issues and spending. We've talked about things like financial abuse um, and, uh, you know, poverty mentalities and things like that. So I like to talk about some of the underlying reasons why people are having trouble budgeting, but you know, where the more practical tips are, when people are starting to budget, a lot of times they take all the fun money out and then people quit after a couple months because they feel like, you know, like all the fun's getting sucked out of their life. And so <laughs> when they're learning how to budget, I always encourage people to put and keep some fun money in there yeah. so that they can still feel like they're enjoying their life and then learn how to cut back on the things that they can control, you know, um, like their grocery bill or their miscellaneous or, you know, learning how to, you know, cut costs right. on you know, gas or whatever else, um, and, and really try to trim down those things that they can control. Uh, Lauren, your information has been so helpful, especially hearing from somebody who was able to successfully get out of debt. Thank you for enlightening us today. You can take the steps to get out of debt and visit tipsontv.com for more information.